Hey guys, so you know where we've been and what we've been up to. You also know what the truck looks like before we got our hands on it. Now let's see what it looks like after we do our modifications, including getting that sink with hot water in this truck. But first off, we wanna let you know about a few more features that we found out about the driver's seat that adds a ton more comfort. And it is right here along the bottom. There is two levers. One of them moves the base seat of it forward and back like that. That way you can, if you have short legs, long legs, and adjust the base of the seat. The other one allows it to rock back. You can see how far that goes back. So the seat is really customizable. But there is one feature, we don't know what the heck is. Maybe you guys can help us. It's this little lever right here. Do you guys know what it is? If you do, leave a comment below. Help us out, help us figure out the mystery. All right, so now let's go ahead and go over the cabinets that we have in the front. They're kind of basic and simple. And then we'll dive into the back and show you what we've done in the back. All right guys, so in this cabinet, we have a few things like all my trucker hats and some extra dishes, things like that. And then we have all of our cleaning cloths right here. So we don't use any chemicals to clean the truck. All of these cloths, you just use water and it cleans the entire truck, including fifth wheel grease. And then we have some paper towels, things like that. My purse, the other cabinet on this side is we have um, two of our boxes. One of them is first aid, and the other one is some um, little repairs that have zip ties, gorilla tape, things like that. So if we break down, we can rig the truck and fix it. It's been helpful in the past, so we always have a box with that kind of stuff in it. One thing that you'll notice is we keep the front of the cab in front of the seats to just a driver area. So we keep it really simple. We don't really have much up here, just our small GPS up there, and then our headsets go right here. Um, but we really don't keep too much in this area. It's for driving. It's not for the comfort of being in the back. That's for what the entire back of the cab is for. Let's jump into that. So you guys know you can't start the day off without having coffee. So I made a coffee station. Makes getting coffee really super easy. Also with my coffee station, I have our dish storage area and to store our plates and dishes to make it really easy to get in and out. Also have our silverware over here on a magnet strip. This stuff rarely ever falls off, so it makes it really easy. And you guys can already see down below, we got the sink. Now you see that we got the sink put in and it is completely in the wardrobe. We did not damage this truck. I just wanna note that we do not recommend permanent damage to the truck that is going to affect the resale value of the truck okay so note that first but we have the sink we have hot water so this also is a portable camp hot water heater it says for outdoor use so again use at your own discretion we felt safe enough we did research on our own and felt safe enough that it could go in the truck so we added a, another shelf into the wardrobe and then we made this shelf uh, this table right here is collapsible and it all folds back in and the drawer shut so real fast it's already turned on push this start button boom water is running out ta-da so I scrub up the dishes I have some dish soap here scrub it all up and then I put it on the drying mat right here on the dinette and then we just tuck it all back away off and then I'll go ahead and fold it all back up to show you guys so it is really easy I have a few dishes in here for my coffee this morning this we made it really simple it's just a dowel rod holding up that flap. So you're probably wondering where the heck we get water. It's pretty simple, right underneath here. So there is two tanks underneath of there. They are the military style grade. And we just unscrew the small cap, put the pump down in there and it runs up. But if you wanna know all the details, we're gonna have a video on how you can install and how you can put this entire sink system in yourself if you have the want or the desire to. It was something I've been working on for three years. But yes, there is about 12 gallons worth of water. That's enough for us to drink and do dishes all week long. We don't have to refill during the week. And then we have a jug that we refill for our drinking water to have up front in the driver's seat when we're driving. One thing that was important to Scott was that we would be able to eat at a table finally and sit across from each other like we're at home at a dinner table. So that was something important to him. So we've tried to figure out without using those darn cushions that were hard as a rock that I told you about when we did the tour of the truck. We were able to put a Murphy bed in, again, not damaging the truck. There's eight screws and that holds the system together. We will do another video on how we built the Murphy bed, but we're able to now use the Murphy bed and the table, have a comfortable bed all in one. It's been a wonderful thing. And Scott's gonna show you what that looks like and how easy it is to put up and down. 
So in order to make this work, we actually had to duplicate the uh, catches on the back wall on this piece of plywood, which took a little to figure out how to make it work. But by golly, in like a couple days that we had the truck before we went back to driving, we got it figured out. How do you like that? So once we get the bed down in, in the, the sleeping position, then we just take these straps right here, unhook them, throw them right up there out of the way, and the uh, seat cushions that we have from the lawn chairs at home that we uh, use while we're sitting in the tables in the up position, we just pull those back. Throw them right there on top of the Froley. And that was a way that we still have a little bit of elevation to your head, but then uh, we don't have to wrestle with that steel uh, adjustable bed. Don't get me wrong, I do miss adjustable bed, but this is working pretty good so far. So we also use the top bunk for some more storage, like our pillows. Makes it super easy. Just throw them right down after Scott makes the bed, which I can make the bed. It's really simple. It's not heavy. It's not real bulky or anything. It is pretty easy. But we also put our dirty laundry, our coats, things like that. A few extra things on top of there. And you're thinking, does that come off the top bunk and go fly when you hit a bump? It doesn't. We actually have a strip of that grippy stuff that you put underneath of a rug. We put it on that top bunk and it keeps everything held in place. We have yet to have anything come off the top bunk in six years. So it's working for us. So in both upper cabinets, we have our wardrobe, so it's a his and a hers, shower bag and tote for clothing. In the bottom cabinet, down underneath of the sink, we have our electric skillet and our Instapod for other cooking utensils. And then you see right here, we upgraded our microwave to our air fryer. And this has a ton of settings, super like it. I'm so excited to make some cooking videos and help you guys out. But right now, if you're just starting out, this is my go-to appliance right now. Right underneath we have our pantry. So these two drawers for us are pantry. So there's fresh potatoes, other things in there. And this has some other ingredients. So if we want to do a quick spaghetti meal, this is one of our cheat meals, honestly, is spaghetti, quick and easy. But then we have all kinds of spices, oil, things like that. So these are our pantry and then we have fresh food right down there. You guys know eating healthy and a good sleep environment is very important to us. So we wanted to highlight that we do still have our Froley sleep system and our custom Delarkin mattress. If you haven't seen any of the information about those things, how it absorbs and deflects the shock of the road and it really helps sleep a lot better, check out our Better Night Sleep playlist and it will give you a ton of information and we'll continue to come out with more reviews and how we like the mattress and the sleep system as we've had it for what, four years now? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Before. But another thing we do is we do have another curtain that is blackout curtain. It's really nice and dark and we pull it across to make it go into like a cubby, kind of like on tour buses. Yeah. So Angela was all worried about my shirt. See, my friend Jamie, <laughs> our friend Jamie, she made us these pretzels that have peanut butter in between them with chocolate. And I got some of the chocolate on my shirt, so... It's, it's not poop. <laughs> I don't eat 100% healthy all the time, so... No, you guys know that he has his Dr. Pepper. Thanks, and Jamie. His, yeah, his muffins. Yeah. My, I was like, change your shirt. He was like, no, we're going to go take a shower. I'm not changing my shirt. Anyways... So we hope you guys have really enjoyed this video and really get inspired, whether it's you're using some of our systems or you make it your own. This is a starting place. And remember, we've been on the road for six years, so we have really learned and adapted and done everything. And I also want to note, remember, our Volvo has a inverter and a refrigerator, which makes a huge difference when it comes to making this truck into a micro tiny house. And believe you me, there was all kinds of trial and error that went involved in that. So you guys stay tuned for those two videos that are breakout videos on how to install the hot water heater in the sink system. And then also our Murphy bed so you can use a comfortable bed with the dinette. So stay tuned for those. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. But until then, stay safe and enjoy the adventures. Good night. Bye.